My brother came up with a good idea. <laughs> he's gonna paint. He wants one. He's done for age old scale, and he goes. We gotta put a trailer behind it, like a twist, Twisters. That's a good movie. So here I am looking at the suburban. Someone made up. That's pretty sweet. Don't know if I did the Fender Wells right, but I don't. I'm not. I'm not very picky because that was a lot of work I put into that thing. So now I'm trying to find out what kind of trailer it has. So I'm going through here. That I don't have any good pictures. That's the only good picture I can find. And yeah. I know I'm jumping around too much. But. That's what I did. And then. I'm going to probably end up using the car trailer. Maybe. I don't know because I'm going to have to cut it. Like I did here. And then wood trailer. This is what I used basically. And then in Tinkercab. Which is obviously Tinkercab.com. So this is the one cab over I was been working on. It did not look like that. I switched, I cut out the wheels, put new wheels on it, and even made a dry shaft for it, which is pretty sweet. Put the axles on it, make it look like axles. Redone the front axle part here, but I made one a lot better than this. And I'll show you guys what that looks like here in a second. I'm not done with it, but this is that cab over. So here's the Low Rider Suburban. I kind of fixed it up, made it a little bit better. That looks more sweet now. Uh, here's the four boy, or here's a Dilly one. I guess that don't look too bad. I think it should be in more, and the axle should have been in more, but it's what I'm working with, and I like it. Like I said, these ain't my files. These are somehow else's file. They're locked, and all I can do is come in here, move the tires, and mind blowing what I can do. Same thing with the 4x4 version, looks just sweet. And so then I started working on this cab over, because I, I like a cab over. I made it HL scale, and then customized the living crap out of it. And this is the new improved one. I cut the exhaust out of it by using like this, come up to the block, get it where you're happy with it, cut it all out. It had a soccer ball up here, got rid of that, fixed up the roof a little bit better. Now the roof looks a lot better. Put different stacks on it, or exhaust, chopped them this way, now they look sweet. And then I took the tanks off another truck, exhaust is off another truck. The wheels are off another truck. This was a lot of work. I'd never want to do it again. Because I have to use this editor application, the mixer, and basically this is what the truck looks like. Where's my Kenworth? It's basically from a Kenworth. This will be here. And then in the mesher, I took took it, chopped it, line this way, get rid of the cab, this way, get rid of the back, and then side, get rid of this side, kept one tank, saved it, or exported it, and then reversed it where this is going, kept this side tank. Same thing here, I had to cut all this off, back bumper off, and then carefully in the middle, cut all that out, take one wheel at a time, front axle as well and tinker cab it was just the axle a little bit of fenders from here this was not fun I mean this was not fun at all about a day and a half of work I spent on this truck 
and I'll show you exactly how I did it in a way this is how usually I can try to edit some of the files but sometimes it doesn't work if the file is over 300,000 meshes it will not work if it's over 25 megapixel it won't work like this truck right here for instance go to properties and you can see 63.0 megabyte Tinkercab has to have a lot of it so what I did is come up to here click on edit pine cut and now you see this and then what you do is you can see parts of the frame still just make a straight cut as straight as you can get it and you see how it curves it so you gotta make sure it is straight so then you just say accept and it erases the front of the truck and then I do another pine cut erase here and then I do the exact same thing come up here where I get it where I want the frame at and then I come up here cut the wheels off keep the frame right here because nothing else is on here and then what I would do is this here I'll show you guys so then I'll cut here then I'll cut back here and then all that's left is this and then I'll just make a nice cut down the middle and eliminate all this one tire only each side and then that's it you added everything to this and that's how that one truck is made now I gotta do is add a dry shaft make it a little more realistic so this is this truck give you guys some more an update later on so here is the log trailer I was talking about earlier Let's see which one is it I think it's this one here yeah forget how I did it but I think I went right up here and I cut this off in ticker cap got rid of that big old hump and make it more like an actual log trailer for my truck and then scale it down to the right size that I needed it for for that trailer and that worked out great so you got thingiverse then you have things where's cuts I think it's just the one I needed right here sometimes you have to type in just like that and because these are usually mixed around and some people don't really name theirs exactly quote unquote oh, what they're called weird I didn't even touch well I got my front loader now now I have to take the bucket off I think and make it to a log front end loader that's gonna be fun to make it look like that that's gonna be fun this guy has just the bucket what well, sucks but it is what it is So I just got done messing with this trailer. That took me a while. It is now 1.26 p.m. So now I have my trailer ready to go. Ah, <laughs> man, that looks good. Maybe it might be a little bit bigger, but... Oh, maybe so. Oh, let's see what I can do real quickly. I mean... That actually does not look bad. I pretty much had to customize this whole trailer. Too. And then ticker cab for the doors. You just go to basic shapes, go down to. Uh, where was it? Structures and scenery, I think it was. Yeah. And just keep clicking more until you get. You got a door here. Keep going until there's a window. 
No. Mm -mm. I'm just going to leave it open like that to make it more movie efficient. I wish I could make this part here, but I do not know how to do that. And what's kind of cool about Tinkercab, you can invite people. Right, here's the door. So, boom. I thought it made it a little bit thicker. Build it out to make it look like the door. Build the top. Done. I actually like this one a little bit better than I do uh, this. And now it's done. Now it's got a trailer. See, I can share this with people. I might just do that. And it's all hollow in the middle. So it makes it easier for resin or whatever. whatever. I made the walls a protector. The only thing I'm going to be concerned about is the leaf springs. Because I don't know how resin is going to do that. So, trailer is done. It looks good.